I realized that like probably like watching somebody code this in high speed isn't going to be like the uh, the greatest sort of show on earth so I decided since I had the footage anyway I'll just leave it running but I kind of wanted to go over the reason why you would do something like this I mean if you're interested in the code and actually using this or building upon this I've uploaded it to GitHub, there's a link in the description. There's also a link to the original tutorial that this code mostly comes from. I mean, I've adapted it some, but uh, it mostly came from the tutorial from the Practical PyTorch series. There's a link to that as well. Uh, you can get a lot more information about the, the code itself there. Uh, I don't have to reiterate that because uh, somebody already wrote it and wrote it in a way better way than I could ever do it. But there's, um, there's some, some things about the reason that I actually got in, into this code um, that I would like to explain. And I wanted this as part of a search algorithm because what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, allow a user to type in a keyword in a search bar and get also to uh, records in a database that had related keywords uh, in them but not the original keyword. So for instance, if I typed in the word food, I also wanted to get documents that had the word restaurant in it, but not the word food. And so the first thing I needed for that was to actually, because these were not like just uh, keyword based searches, they were uh, uh, natural language questions. So the, the question would be, where can I find food? And I wanted to take the keywords out of that question. I didn't care about where and I didn't care about find. I only cared about the word food in this sentence. So. Um, to take that word and then make multiple related keywords out of it, something I've, I've come to call keyword expansion, um, I needed the keywords first from the sentence. And there are a few algorithms out there that can do this, but they are not very really good at on short sentences. They're great for paragraphs where they can calculate frequency um, of words in a paragraph and then kind of like come to a conclusion about keywords. But on short sentences, this is actually a, kind of a well-known problem. So I decided to use uh, a sequence-to-sequence -sequence network for that um, to basically treat the problem as a translation problem. Like uh, you have uh, one language and you convert it into another language. And that's what this, um, uh, this tutorial was actually about. It was actually about translating from French to English and from English to French. What we're doing is we're just translating from the full sentence to the keywords or the other way around. And that's actually kind of cool because um, while I've set it up in this uh, particular piece of code to translate from a short sentence into its keywords, you can easily set a reverse flag, retrain the network, and then you can actually translate from keywords to full sentences. So that since I, uh, what I scraped for my data was uh, Lifehacker, which is like a very well uh, known blog and they obviously use, uh, make uh, great use of clickbait titles. What we could actually make is if we put the reverse flag in, we can make a uh, clickbait uh, title generator by just typing in a few keywords and then it will generate a Lifehacker worthy clickbaity title for us. So that's something we will try in the next video. Um, in this video, we actually, we won't see it work. Like, I know that it works, I've already um, tested it, but I tested it on a very uh, small data set so it would train faster. What I'm doing right now is I'm training it on my own time. It goes very slow on my little uh, laptop. Um, I mean, it does have a GPU in it, but it's only two gigs, it's nothing, so. Um, I'm training the network right now. Once that is done, I'll make another video showing you the results. And then I'll retrain and we'll make this clickbait title generator and see how well that works. And um, so you can download the code and then, um, you know, that, that's... Um, I just needed to get this third video out because it's been quite a while now since that has been kind of waiting. So um, now that it's there, then like, you know, and um, I don't know, I hope that uh, this kind of matches up with the code that I was writing. It will probably be compressed into a very speedy sort of background kind of thing. And then in the next video, uh, in this series, in the next video, we will um, we will see it work and then make our clickbait title generator. And then we'll actually improve the network itself because there's a lot of improvements that we can make. And we might as well just uh, re-implement the entire search algorithm. So we will also do the keyword expansion. 
for which we will use word to vec or doc to vec or something like that and that would be very interesting to go over as well so that's about it for me and uh, it makes it a nice little short video but you'll get if you download the source code you'll get uh, something nice out of it and then i'll see you in the next video